the United States is facing what some have called an innovation deficit, and it threatens our entire nation's role as a leader in the free world, as a leader in scientific discovery. Last year, the R&D tax incentive expired. And I've proposed legislation to reinstate these incentives to help spur the growth of this sector and help compete in the 21st century. We have this tremendous intellectual property in this state that we export to the rest of the world. And, um, and the fact that we do this together, that importance of the collaboration. This state is an incubator for global health innovation and life science innovation. And it's particularly special because we know that we cannot do this alone. And I'm dedicated to creating opportunities to improve health um, because health is a social indicator. And not, not only am I doing that, but we're all well aware that the NIH does that in their work um, and is why their work is so critical. Good health can increase our chances to achieve success, allowing each of us to reach our full, poten full potential. Federal funding has created a pipeline of talented graduates who go from our classrooms and labs into research centers, they, they start companies, and they continue to make this region the vibrant region that is today. And we've been founded on these fundamental principles of open science, team science, and big science. Um, this is something we feel is, is really important to open science, meaning the sharing and openness of data. Um, team science, meaning working together with lots of different disciplines. Um, and big science, trying to do something that couldn't be done in a traditional um, academic setting. For 40 years, the Center for Infectious Disease uh, Research really has been leading the way. And I'm particularly taken by the fact that you have focused on the folks who are disproportionately affected by diseases and infectious diseases across uh, the world. We already know that these organizations work in more than 160 countries. The economic impact for this state is remarkable, but even more important is that we are helping heal those most vulnerable in this world. We are looking for solutions for their lives, they who have no voices. So I look forward to, to your momentum. Let's keep this momentum going. Let's keep this investment going. Let's keep this rally going. And I look forward to doing that. So for the sake of our state and region, and for all the people in the world who depend on the discoveries that we make here, we have to reinvest in research that's given us the health and prosperity that we enjoy today.